Alrighty, welcome back. One thing I forgot to mention in the previous tutorial, um, make sure that your color picker background down here is set to transparent and capture. That way in OBS, you can go to your, you know, your property of your, um, you know, capture and set this to allow transparency and then the character will, you know, be transparent. The background will be transparent. Um, but now I'm going to show you how to customize this model if Archimedes will quiet down. I'm going to pause the recording really quick. Okay, now that the dove has quieted down, um, I'm going to show you how to customize this model. First, okay, well, he's just going to keep talking. First, go to the avatar icon here. Wait, I lied. This is where you load your model. Uh, you'll, you know, select your model, and then you're going to go to the gear icon. Cool. Um, in the gear icon, let's go ahead and go to the shortcuts. You'll see there's a bunch of shortcuts that are already set up. Um, these are just like, you know, his animations, his poses, his expressions. But for you to edit the model into being like a cat or a rodent or something else, you'll have to create your own expression that transforms him into that. So let me show you how to do that. First, we're going to do expression editor. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new expression. And I'm going to name this, uh, I don't know, my custom model. Um, so by default, he's going to load as a husky. Um, but let's say you want a different style of ears. Um, the ear style parameter controls different types of ears that are already, you know, rigged into the model. And then there's also a version um, that will turn my ears off that I've drawn entirely. And you can pin your own ears onto it that you've drawn, but they won't move as nicely as what's provided. But I mean, this is an option and I have a tutorial on that. Um, but for now, let's go ahead and pick the, let's pick, let's just be a mouse. Let's just be something really different. So I'm gonna use this ear styles, but I can also change the ear size. So we're gonna make his ears really big. We can make them really tiny. So I'm gonna make them really big. Uh, another option you have is you can change the pose of the ears. You can make them, you know, rotate down, or you can make them stay upward. I'm going to go ahead and leave them up. Uh, we can also change the eye size of the model. So if you want smaller eyes to look a little different, you can do that. We have a brow style parameter as well. So you can change the, the, you can change the eyebrows from the regular style to like the dot style, which would work great for like a Shiba. Uh, we have the option to turn the eyelash tips off. We can make the pupils look slitted. If you wanted to make a cat or just like a kind of spooky creature, you can do that. Um, there's also the option to make the entire eyeball part very slitted. So you can do that as well. We have um, eyeball shrink, but I have also have these set to expressions. So these are part expressions. But if you wanted your model to have perpetually tiny pupils, you would do that here. Um, let's say you want your model to have like a kind of cool look to, cool look to his eyes. We can do like you know, this one, it kind of makes him look like he's a cooler style character. Uh, or we could do this one, which kind of makes him look a little, like, silly. And you can, like, stick these together. You can mix and match them. The All this does is just change the shape of the eye. It won't interfere with your blink, so don't worry about it. Eye form surprise will make them widen. Sad will kind of give them a softer sad look. Um, definitely feel free to tinker around. We also have hairstyles. So in the model, I have a couple hairstyles rigged. I have this one that's by default, this one, this one with side bangs, this one with a long back, and then a version that will turn the hair off. So let's do this version. And I also have a couple parameters that will control this hairstyle. So I have something, a parameter here that controls the length of these side bangs. I have a parameter that will control the length of the hair. I also have a parameter that will control the width of the hair. Um, so let's go ahead and just leave it like this. Um, I'll explain the custom hairstyles in a separate tutorial, uh, but we have other customizations as well, like nose size. If you're going to be a mouse, you might want to make his nose smaller, or you could be silly and maybe give him a really big nose. Let's do this small nose. Let's just go really small. And we also have chest style. By default, the model loads with no chest specifically. It's an androgynous character. Uh, if you slide to the right, you have the booba. You have a second smaller set of booba, and then you have a set of pectorals. 
and eventually if I add a fourth set, it'll be over this way. But for now, I have just these sets built in. But well, let's well, we'll use the pectorals for now. Um, we also have whiskers that we can add to the model. The whiskers are drawn white, so by default, they are a little difficult to see. Uh, but you can color these individually, so I'm going to go ahead and leave the whiskers on. We also have teeth style. So what teeth style is, is you can have little fangies, or you can have a little like a buck tooth for like a rodent character, or you can go ahead and turn the teeth off if you don't like the teeth for some reason. But I prefer models to have teeth, so we're going to keep this tooth. We also have chest fluff size. This controls the size of this tuft of fluff. Um, so yeah, you can make it any size between this and that. If you decide you don't like the chest fluff, you can turn it off here with the chest fluff off. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it on, and let's just make it small. Uh, we can also turn the cheek fluff off. And so I'm going to do that because I don't think a mouse really has specifically fluffy cheeks. Um, we can also change the tail style. By default, we have, I think, five tails rigged into this model. We have the husky tail. Oh, wait, I'm doing the wrong parameter. Um, turn this off. Tail style. There we go. Husky tail. We have a wolf tail. I have a cat tail. I have um, a fox tail. I ha and I have a mouse tail. And then I have no tail. So if you decided you wanted to draw your own tail, you could pin it to the back of your model and just turn this tail off. Uh, but we're going to use the mouse tail for now. Uh, I also have this function, which you can set to a hotkey. You can rotate the tail up. You can also change the size of the tail. So, And this will affect other, other tails, too. You can set these to its own hotkey, so I'm not going to add these there now. Uh, we also have a category for face markings. Um, so if this is more helpful if you're getting into uh, more texture editing. But by default, all of the markings I have are on. Um, so, but you can turn them off. So we have a marking, we have body markings here, but if you decided you didn't want those, you could turn those off. Uh, if you decided you didn't like this t muzzle marking on the top, that turns off too. If you decide you don't like the shadow, you can turn that off. If you decide you don't like the little triangle piece in the middle, that's called face peak, that turns off too. You can also turn the cheek color off. Um, but if let's go ahead and no, I'll I want to turn the markings on. Let's just keep them on. I want to be able to like show you how crazy we can get with this. So we're gonna keep all the markings on. Um, arms and hands. You don't really need to mess with hand poses unless you want to. Each hand has different hand poses. You can create your own hotkeys with these. So let's say you wanted to make him wave. You can change the draw order. Well, actually, here let me show you. Let's rotate his left forearm but you'll see it's behind him. If you change the draw order, that will lift it up above him. So we can do that. Um, but we're not going to create any poses right now. Right now, we're just going to only mess with uh, actually creating my custom model. So we have our, oh, let me change his tail back to the mouse. So now we have our little mouse guy. So I'm going to go ahead and save him. I'm going to do, and now I'm going to create my own hotkey. And I'm going to name it my custom model, and I'm going to set it to control P. You can set it to any key, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and we're going to set expression, because what we just made was an expression that uses parameters to change the look of the model. And I saved it as my custom model, H O J K L M N O P. Here. I'm going to set it to control P. So now I'm going to hit control P. The model will turn into the one that I've that I've you know customized to be what I want my creature to look like, um, and that's cool. Like we've got our creature looking cool, but what's the fun in that if we can't change the colors on him? So the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to change the colors on this. So, yeah.